Okay, let's see these horizontal element tools in action. Now again, I have the H2 horizontal element, um, horizontal alignment set active. First tool I'm going to use is the add a fixed line. And you see the dialog box here. It want, I have a mode of two points or point direction and distance. I'm going to use two points. And this little pick box here you can see allows you to set the northing and easting just by picking in the CAD file. So I'm going to go ahead and define that one by clicking there. And then again, I'm going to define the second point here. And I'm going to put it right about there. And now I have my two uh, northing and eastings for the beginning and end points of that. And I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. And notice in the bottom left-hand corner of my MicroStation window, it says Accept or Reject. If I left-click, I'm going to accept it. Right-click, Rejects. And I like where that is, so I'm going to left-click and accept it. So that's basically how you add a fixed horizontal line. The second tool here, well, I'm going to have to go back and forth because everybody knows that a tangent goes into a curve and a curve will come out into a tangent. So I'm not really going to be placing line, 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 and then curve, curve, curve. So I'm going to have to skip around a little bit. The next thing I want to use is let's try and take a look at the add floating curve. When I click on that, it brings up a dialog box that allows me to define it by a point in a radius or a point in a direction. I'm going to set it to point in radius. And I'm going to put a radius in here of about, I don't know, let's go at 750. And when I click Apply, you'll notice it says Identify Element. So it wants to know, what are you going to be attaching this curve to? Um, if you look, notice at the tool, it's a floating curve that comes off of a tangent. So I'm going to define it to come off of here. And now it wants me to identify a point. And as I move my mouse, you can see how the curve sort of floats around. So I'm going to say I want my curve to come into right about here. So I'm going to left click because it wants me to identify a point and I want to accept that. So there's my curve right there. And then if I right click that will reject out of the command and now I can close the dialog box. The next tool I want to show you is the add floating line. Now that I'm coming off of a curve I can define it by point or direction. So I'm going to define it by point. I'm going to go ahead and click apply and it says identify element. Now again, I'm going to zoom in here. I'm coming off of a curve, so I'm going to identify this point. You can see as I move my mouse around, it will show me where that tangent point goes. I'm just going to put a little tangent right in here, and I'm going to accept it. And that's how simple that, that tool is. And right click to get out of that tool. Um, let's see, what else do we want to take a look at here? Let's add a, f let's add a uh, fixed curve. Now when I click on that, I can define the fixed curve by two points in a radius or by three points. I'm going to go with two points in a radius. And now I need to toggle on point number one and point number two. And I'm going to go and define these in the CAD so I can get my northing and easting. So I'm going to click on that little button there, and I'm going to define this free curve here. So, or fixed curve, I'm sorry. I'm going to click there, and that defines the northing. And I'm going to click here and just define a point there. And now I'm going to type in a radius of, oh, I don't know, let's go at 700 this time. And when I click Apply, take a look at what happens. Well, that's not what I wanted, is it? It's because Inroads knows that positive goes around clockwise and negative goes counterclockwise. So down here in the radius, if I type in negative 700 and click Apply, you'll see it's a much better representation of what I'm actually looking for. So let's left click and accept this curve and close that dialog box. So there's a couple of the main tools on and obviously I'm, I'm you know I'm not putting this together in a cohesive manner. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to execute some of these tools here. Um, if I had another curve, let me just define this real quick for you. I'm going to define another uh, uh, fixed curve again just so I can demonstrate another tool. I'm going to put a curve there and a curve there and let me go with uh, 1000 and click apply. Ooh, I'm going to need something bigger than that. So right click reject and I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with 5000 and click apply. Okay, that's a little better and click. So now I have these two curves. I'm going to go ahead and use the a uh, free tangent to set that up for you. Okay, so now you've seen me place two fixed curves here. 
I've got a fixed curve here and a fixed curve here, and now I need a tangent in between. And the way you go about doing that is using the um, add a free uh, line. When I click on that, it wants me to identify the first element. So this is the first element, which is the first curve. And I click on that, and now it asks me to identify the second element. Again, I'm looking down in the bottom left corner of MicroStation. Now it wants me to identify the second element. So I simply just click on the second element, and presto. <laughs> I have a tangent in there, and it wants me to accept it or reject it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and accept it. Obviously, I'm way off the center line, but um, again, this just demonstrates the tool. So I'm going to left-click and do accept, and then right-click to exit the command. So there you have it. There's some of the basic tools. Um, again, a, a f if I were to, to use the free curve, it's very similar to how I just did the free line, only instead of clicking on the first uh, curve and then the second curve, I'd be clicking on the first tangent and a second tangent and putting a curve in between it. So there you have it. That's pretty much the six basic uh, add horizontal element tools. And um, Hopefully you, you can play around with that a little bit and get a better feel of how these tools can be used.